the sand in our cistern does two things. First, it stores water, but it also filters that water as it moves through the system. Now we want to water the sand in with every foot of fill. This will help pack it down tightly. We're going to continue to fill our hole with sand until we reach a height that's about one foot below the surrounding soil surface. the surface of the soil layer to be depressed six to eight inches below the surrounding soil surface. This will provide an area for water to pool as it percolates into the sand. We can achieve this depression by either limiting the amount of fill, but also by berming soil up around the outside edge of our cistern. If your cistern is in an area where exposed soil might wash into the depression, a berm will help keep this contaminated soil out of the system. Now to increase the percolation of water into our sand layer, we're going to include a few areas that are free of soil where sand columns extend from the surface down into the sand layer below. Once we've filled the sand to the desired depth, we want to establish a way to drain off excess water from the cistern so that it doesn't stand in the soil layer, which is going to be the rooting zone for our plants. We could do this in one of two ways. We can either dig a shallow swale that brings water to a lower elevation, or what we've done is used a drainage pipe. We punched a small hole through our plastic liner and inserted a four inch PVC pipe here. Our extra water will drain away slowly through that. Now we also covered it with some sediment barrier to keep our sand from washing out through our drainage pipe. We're ready to lay our soil layer, but we want to maintain some columns of sand throughout the bed, which will be areas where the water can percolate quickly into our storage unit below. And to do this, I've cut the bottoms out of several planting containers and I've wiggled them into the sand and filled them up with sand. So this will be our sand column and as we fill with soil around it, it'll prevent the soil from filling these areas. Once our soil's in, we'll remove those uh, containers and get them out of the bed. We also want to separate our sand layer from our soil layer and we're going to do that by laying some weed fabric. Any type of non-woven weed fabric will work well. The non-woven materials allow water to move through faster than woven materials. We're going to need to cut out holes to slip our sand column buckets through. It's best if we work from one end of the bed to the other and pull the weed fabric tight as we move along. Cut the holes as small as possible as closely to the containers as you can so that we reduce the amount of soil that mixes into our sand columns. continue to fill our bed with soil until we have a good 12 to 18 inch layer which will be our planting bed. Next week we'll come back and build up a berm around the edge which will help create this depression we want and we'll also start planting our cistern.